always felt a big connection to the ocean. I was allowed to know about it and explore it without any fear. My name is Daniela Mejia. I am the co-founder and program director for Utila Coral Restoration. I do coral science and research here in Utila, Honduras. My life in conservation started after I had graduated university. I was working in the corporate world. There was a lot about the ocean and about how the health of our planet was declining. I decided that I needed to do something more meaningful, that I should come back home and try to protect our natural resources. Because I lacked a scientific background, I wanted to pursue professional diving as a means to meet people that were scientists or marine biologists and to get involved in helping in conservation projects. So that is how I decided to come to Utila. And here is where I met my really good friend, Gemma, who is a marine biologist. And it sort of was the perfect alignment of everything I wanted. Her and I started to do some research and we came across coral restoration. So we decided, well, this is the perfect place to do something like that. And what helped it become a reality was the fact we were both really passionate about having this happen for Utila. The Utila Coral Restoration Project is turning two years old in April, which is really exciting. We have two main nurseries, the Moon Hole Nursery and the Utopia Nursery. And so at each of these different locations, we have PVC structures that are housing our coral fragments. We are working with two species, the Acropora cervicornis, Acropora palmata as well, and these are staghorn and elkhorn that are critically endangered throughout the Caribbean. We offer different ways for people to get involved. The short way to get involved is our one day specialty. It's a patty distinctive specialty that was written by Gemma and myself, and it's called Coral Nursery Maintenance. So for a day, our students get to learn about coral restoration, its importance, and then they get a chance at uh, working on the nursery and, and doing some maintenance, which can include cleaning. It includes a little bit of monitoring of the health of corals and just a chance for them to actually see and work on a coral nursery. The other more long-term option to become involved with the Utila Coral Restoration Project is by completing a, the two-week internship. It's, it's one of my favorite things I get to do as part of the Utila Coral Restoration Project. I've had many students at this point and it's always amazing to see their transformation after two weeks. People that know nothing about coral come out understanding so much and, and realizing how important that is. For example, one of my students is now an instructor that wants to work in conservation and she came here as an advanced open water diver. And that's kind of rewarding because I know that besides the work we do on the reef, we're changing people and those people are then going to go and, and share that information wherever they go. And that's the power of like education and the research and the science that we do is not just what do we do for the reef in the water, but to get everyone else on board. I'm currently undergoing a master's in marine sciences. But I feel a lot of the knowledge that I do have about the corals and the reefs is self-taught. And so I think that brings with it a level of uncertainty and a level of, do I actually know what I'm talking about? You always look at others that have followed this path for a long time and you say, well, who am I to compare myself or my work to them? Who am I to think that I can run this project and do research when I haven't had any training and no one to really guide me through this path? And especially thinking of me as a female Honduran working in science, if I had had someone to look up to that was like me before, 
I would have probably known that biology and conservation were a path that was possible.